it can easily, it's a renom mostly a renormalization of argument, you can easily see that it's exponentially sensitive. So when you decrease the Higgs mass, it goes up. And at present, with Higgs mass at 125 GV, uh, as far as one can see, the, the standard model becomes, could be consistent up to a unification scale. Yeah? So these arguments is that. Yeah? Doesn't predict any new physics, necessary new physics. Yeah? So, wh so what is the remaining question? Well, now you know we are really, it's like the tree of, if you want, the, uh, the, the, we are just trying to take it very seriously. Uh, the only remaining argument is that uh, the fine tuning problem. Now, it, just now, let's say, imagine that, uh, I mean, as far as we can see, up to one TV, there's no new physics, and uh, at least none has been found yet, and uh, it's, it's difficult to find. Okay, so uh, there is some, now the fine tuning. Uh, scale is proportional to some coupling constant, or it's a mixture of coupling constants, multiplied by the ratio of the new scale of physics divided by the mass of the Higgs. Okay, now this ratio is now, let's say, 8, right, typically, 8 square is 64. However, the coupling in front are small, typically the coupling are small, so maybe it's a factor of 6. So, of course, it's a nuisance because it means the first quantum correction is larger by a factor of 6 than the Higgs mass square. I mean, why else it doesn't look too good? But on the other hand, uh, you know, in the, in the standard model, uh, some quarks have a mass of uh, 2 MeV, another quark has a mass of 3 MeV. So uh, we, we don't understand so many parts of standard model, so maybe uh, we cannot jump ahead and say, well, it's impossible, it's factor 6 or factor like this, it's not terrible. However, if it would be true that the standard model is the only model, so there's a desert theory. Uh, nothing happens until the unification scale. Then we face the problem now that we have a 10 to the 15 divided by 120 GV at the square, which means we have now 26 order of magnitude of fine tuning. And then for our physics, it's difficult to accept. It's as almost as worse than the 120 order, 120 order, 120 order of magnitude for the cosmological constant. So in a supersymmetric world, the 60 order of magnitude of the fine tuning. Uh, so we are facing a fantastically small number, which is totally incomprehensible. Okay. So it means that somewhere, uh, now the problem is that this argument is a little bit subjective. One are you going to say is too much. I cannot accept. Okay. Well, imagine you there is no new physics about 100 TV. Okay. No. 100 TV is for any accelerator you can figure out is by far the maximum. And actually, an extra 100 TV, so we cannot see more than 10 TV or something like 20 KV okay, square. So, of course, we make it now a factor of 10 to the 3, 10 to the 4 of fine tuning. Well, it comes a really bad, okay, it's really bad. Okay, but uh, you cannot tell exactly too precisely when you'll be too shocked to accept it. Okay. Nevertheless, this is the only part of the standard model we can still argue about for new physics up to uh, fantastic scale. There was another argument uh, which I don't want to tell if I describe here, which uh, is that, uh, which uh, in particular I was interested in the 90s, and it has come back recently, which is that uh, if you just look at the physics of the Higgs particle coupled to the top and the W and Z, I had made a simpler model where it's only, only using the top and the Higgs, <laughs> then uh, this model is so called infrared free, okay, like QED, which means that. Uh, uh, and so if you imagine that the coupling constant is of order one at the cutoff scale, then you can use renormalization group and you have a logarithmic behavior of both masses of the top and the heat, and the ratio is a fixed number and the limit of the cutoff becomes large. Now if, uh, if you imagine, now otherwise uh, if the, the ratio, the physical value differs very much from this ratio, it is you tell you something about the cutoff. Okay. If you deviate very much from this limit, then it means the cutoff is smaller. Now, nowadays it happens, remarkably enough, that if you, I, 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 so I found 200 GV, typically, because I didn't uh, care about W and Z because I was too lazy to do the calculation with all those things. And now people have a that incorporate, and in fact you find not something not very different from 125 GV, which means that uh, uh, this part of the argument again fails 
because it could happen that the cotton comes up or the one and the other uh, to 20 ton, 10 to 20 GB or whatever, fantastic number. And so there is no crop disadvantage either. Okay, so that was also another remuneration of argument which uh, is dead uh, and it's anything about the physics. Okay, so that's uh, really this mass is the only factor we can play with. Uh, so what about the related claim from, I mean, the calculations like Judice and, uh, and company that the standard model is so-called metastable, I mean, it's related to all of this discussion. Yeah, but it's that, that coupling will go negative. Yeah, it's, that's exactly what I'm pointing to. Okay, so it means that uh, if, uh, let's see, if the, yeah, if the X-coupling constant is too large, okay, initial, <coughs> And I mean, which means that I think, that, yeah, the mass of the X is too large compared to this limiting value. Then your trajectory eventually turns around, the pi to the power, the, the set coupling of the X turns around and eventually goes to zero at uh, some, some energy scale, which means that, uh, it doesn't mean that the model becomes metastable, it just means that at this point, or at least at this point, some new physics enters in the game, which we don't know about. Okay, now, as I said, as the present, I mean, we don't know precisely enough the, the top mass and things like that, but more or less, rough arguments seem to indicate that this argument would come at what only at 10 to, 10 to 20 GB of an area. So it's, you're not going to, 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 I mean, nobody will buy you a new, sell you a, buy you a new accelerator with this argument. Uh, any questions about the question? Okay, if not, let's thank for the team to stand for this very exciting talk.